we will be looking at today using generative design um, through Revit and using the Dynamo plugin. We'll just quickly go over how you access this through Revit. Um, this is the main page when you open Revit and the generative design tools are here, the create study and explore outcomes. Um, I had issues opening these up. Um, there's some kind of issues with Revit right now, so I will just quickly kind of show you how the pop up works. Um, that you have all these options to use generative design generative design just in Revit and then you can create your own studies um, through this little portal or through Dynamo which is what we'll be primarily using today um, and it works quite nice see there's some issues like with this workspace layout we wanted to use and it's not popping up so when you open up the study you can create a duplicate and create the name of the study you want to use and then you have the options between to randomize, optimize, and cross product. This is pretty much just showing you the kind of amount of outcomes that you're going to produce for you and show to you and so um, you can choose through those and selecting room and these are all the like parameters to go through um, yeah, and then you can generate more the seeds are kind of generating um, the amount of times you want to do the study and so typically you'll do it only once so once you plug in all this information um, you'll be able to generate. I don't think I'll be showing this at all today because I haven't worked through it too much. Alright, now open Dynamo. We will be creating a new document and you will be using a plugin um, called Dyna Maps. Um, so I already have it in my view right here, but you, in order to get it, you'll have to go to search package and then just look it up in this browser and then install it it only takes a little bit to install so here we will open it up this is the web page now you can go and search where you would like to um, get the site I'm just gonna use my hometown as reference Type in the address, say, take me there, um, and then find the area you want to use. building footprint services you can see it up here um, then polygons the line work 
and points. And this one. Then to convert these into private, to take this, bring this here. And just make it so it appears as a site in Reddit. Um, I actually think that's what I was showing before, which is actually over the Rhine, so that works. We can show over the Rhine, um, which is, yeah, um, the site we're using for studio, so that works. Yeah, so it produces. The buildings and the topography there. Um, now we gotta get the roads working.
should be pushing it into Revit, which I think with this hair, I think it just needs to be loaded again. Um, go and rub it and you know change some materials and change the elements you brought in 